And this is the water. This should be enough. And give it just a little mix. And something about the water, my aunt used to tell me that the water should be hot water. I don't know why. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, if there's a specific reason for it. Um, I just use hot water from Tab. That's what I use. I don't... They used to use, like, literally boiling water from kettle. Um, kettle, basically. But... What I do is just because I'm lazy enough, I only use hot water from this tap. But um, I don't know if it would make a difference or not. Okay, we just put the lid on and wait like five, ten minutes, and uh, till the entire water is evaporated, then this whole thing is ready. Okay, back to the eggplants. They are ready and good to go. All we have to do is like that we have to drain them and actually we have to make sure that we dry them very well. The reason why, because we are going to fry them. So when we put them in the hot oil, we don't want that splash of hot oil to our faces. So it's good to make sure that they are actually dried very well with a towel or paper towel or whatever you like to use well before you put it inside the hot oil for frying okay our beef mixture is ready and is here now i took the eggplants out of the salt water and you see as soon as you take them out the color starts to change so you want to make sure that like you know you take them as close as the time that you want to fry them so we have some oil and i dried them so it's like pretty dry as much as i could so i'm putting it inside the oil and we fry them all over and the trick here is that um it has to be on medium heat and it has to be turned over as fast as possible so i guess like this part is actually the only uh part of this dish which is kind of like labor intense if you ask me rest of it is pretty simple you just mix everything and just put it on the stove top and just let it cook but this part like requires like attention like you know um you cannot just let it sit there you have to be aware of what's happening okay so as you can see these are almost done and ready to go so you can take them out the ones which are ready and put them on like a napkin to get the extra oil out um, not necessarily that it's needed but um, and also the other thing is like that you really don't need to fry them a lot because what happens is like after this stage we are going to add the ingredient inside it this one needs a little more frying actually and after that we are good so we are going to add the ingredient inside it and then uh, we are going to cook it so that will take care of the half cooked part so we don't have to worry about it and our beef sauce is all ready as well so what i'm going to do right now is like i'm going to actually drain the beef sauce i'm going to separate the juice and the beef and the rest of the ingredient then i am going to add two tablespoon of tomato paste inside the juice which is like the beef juice and the tomato juice and also the olive oil and everything else together and then kind of like um let's say fry the tomato paste a little bit and after that add one glass of hot water and dilute it and put it aside because then we are going to add it to our eggplants to help with cooking Okay, so we are all set. 
at this point all we have to do is get these prepared and put the uh, meat sauce inside the eggplants what i did is lastly after i drained somehow like it's not totally drained of course somehow drained the um beef sauce i added the chopped parsley into it so anyway we kind of cut the eggplants from the middle so this is the reason that i was talking about that why i leave the stem on it because if i don't speaking of myself i cannot manage to don't damage the end so i would totally ruin the end and everything will come out so i for that purpose leave the um stem on it but if you can manage and like everybody else i guess like every other normal human being who cooks um the stem usually comes out and at this point very simple and very easily with the help of the spoon you open the inside of the eggplant and add some of the meat sauce that we created and we made into the interior of the eggplant and just fill it in and if you splash and you actually like some of it comes out don't worry about it because when we add the sauce actually that we created with the draining of the juice of the beef everything kind of mixed together so as you can see like that easily everything goes inside the interior of the eggplant and like the sack that we created there um, can hold good amount of beef sauce which um, kind of like is the second main ingredient of this dish so we do the same thing with all of the eggplants we open the inside of the um, eggplant and we fill it with the beef sauce make sure that we made and we just continue to do the same thing as much as we can and um, as much as it actually takes um, and I have to mention that actually like you know um, I had to speak over this part of the video because apparently when i was initially making this on tv i had this other song playing which of course i wasn't paying attention and um when i was uploading this video to youtube i received this message that this video was blocked and i was kind of surprised at why the video is blocked i didn't use anything weird in the video it's just a cooking video and then i realized that apparently one of the background songs was actually blocked from being on youtube or something i have no idea how these things worked it shows how naive i am with this type of things i thought if a music background sound is on national tv it should be okay but anyway so um, the way that you see like the whole thing um, goes inside the eggplant and uh, we we complete this thing and what we do is we slice some tomatoes and we put one or two slices of tomato inside on top of the eggplants depending on how big your eggplants are and on the side we actually drained the juice of the beef sauce and i added two spoons of tomato paste to it and kind of um mix it all together and i created this sauce that you see here and now i went ahead and added this sauce to basically the eggplants and the beef and then moved it to the stovetop and let it sit there for around 45 minutes to one hour till it actually cooked very well and softened and um, the eggplant actually that we fried um, really softened. Okay, I just took this off the stovetop and this is ready to be served. Uh, okay this is the final product karnirik the turkish version modified to my taste if you try it i hope you like it 
and let me know what you think about it and if you like this please subscribe to my channel and make a comment and like this video thank you so much bon appetit